Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Nutrix the Synth Guy and today we're talking about a really great synth um, that I talked about in the past, the Uno Synth Pro from IQ Multimedia. There's something new, there's a new firmware, that's cool, but mostly there is the answer of what I asked for last time, which is an editor, a software editor, because the panel you have to work with is really nice, but still, I like to see everything on one page. And it's mostly what we got with the editor. So what do we see? We have, first of all, to be able to run this with the editor, you need to update the firmware. I had to do that. Um, it took me a while and I had a problem mostly because I had a faulty USB cable. Mm, stupid, but yeah, it could be one of the reasons why it takes a lot of time to have it fixed. It just, and one way to verify that if I looked at in my computer for the USB uh, MIDI, I mean, it, it, just to see the Unisynth appear as a MIDI interface, it did not show up. So it was clear that it was not the software firmware update that had a problem. It was the fact that it did not um, appear on my computer at all as a MIDI interface or as a MIDI synthesizer using USB. So I switched cables and it appeared and I was able to firmware update the device. So now when I boot it up, it says firmware 2.0. It's out of the latest version. This version is needed to be able to run with the editor, the Uno Synth Pro editor. So let's actually look at it. It doesn't add, uh, in a way, new features. It's just sh it's showing you everything. And the first time you, you, you load it up, it basically tells you, you know, you want to load the factory bank that is inside the synth. And when now they're linked now, they're USB in and out. I mean, in the setup, I didn't have to set anything at all, but because it's connected by USB, uh, it input and output are the Unosynth Pro. So it's right away, it works. And everything else was just okay. And it works by default. If you don't know where to find this, if you want to say, well, where's the firmware update? Where's the, the pro editor? These are in your iKey Multimedia account. So you need to register the fact that you've got a Unosynth Pro, of course, and then you have access to these uh, downloads, basically. So you have three oscillators, same thing as before. What's cool is either I change it here. You see, really real-time control. Or if I change it here, the two ways is bi-directional and really quick, you know. If I go here again. So really quick. What's cool is you have it in one window. Um, now you can see the FM amount from the oscillator two to the first one and the FM from the third one to the first one and the ring, the sync, sorry, you can activate and the ring also. So you see the ring is on second one, the sync is on second on the third one. So depending on what you want. So it's very graphic and that's the goal. You know, it's, it's, it's very efficient. Because you do envelopes, you've got the ADSR filter envelope and ADSR amplitude envelope, but the value when you move on them, so you see the value. And again, if I switch to envelope here, and I do move something, you see right in front of you, everything changing. So it's really quick to see the value. Also, it's a way that, okay, I'm changing sound and I say, oh, this is this is a cool one. And if you want to say, oh, how is this one done? Well, you can actually look at it. You see, there's only oscillator one. You can see um, there's a cutoff is down and then there's uh, spacing in the filter. Let's try it a little bit. 
less loud. This is just loud. Let's bring this down. Okay. So now we have... If you want to change the, the cutoff here, you have it here. And again, so you get access to the knobs. And of course, you can switch with your filter. And you got the information that is on the panel itself. And for the LFO, it works right away. And you can also, like I said earlier, move it here and it changes it inside. So if you take one and say, well, I'm going to listen to this one. So, so, okay, how do they do this one? So you can see the graphic here, but also what's happening is in the matrix. You can easily see, okay, velocity, destination off. Okay, mod wheel, it controls the cutoff filter. This is the amount. Anything else is not activated. So the very simple, this one is just a... Okay, this works. You get the effects after that, and you've got the modulation, uh, the chorus. There's three types of chorus. There's a phaser, the color of the phaser, flanger, control over it. So very graphic again. Uh, delay, you've got mono, stereo, with the left and right control, a doubler, a ping, and a left, center, right delay. And you get the reverb, all plate, reverse, and spring. So a little bit of control that changes here. So it's it's really, you know, it just works. It does what it's supposed to be. And the drive is doing what it should be doing. So it didn't add more to the device itself, but it's great because it gives you, I would say, two things. First of all, you've got a information of everything that is happening in front of you especially in the design stage. So um, instead of remembering everything in the menu here, <clears throat> you can actually just look at the screen and, and, and follow as you, you work on it, but you still see what's happening. So it's really interesting to, I'm, I'm a very visual person when I, when I work with synthesizer, I like to see where everything is, so it's really good. But also you've got the management of the presets. That's the cool thing. So you can easily just load everything that is in your synth save it somewhere and then load it back in whenever you want it. So this is also a great thing is to be able to store, save, load, um, you know, and back up your entire memory. So that's it. Very quick one. If you don't have it, go ahead, download the editor because it's a good addition to your the Uno Synth Pro. It's also for the desktop one, the smaller one. It's the same brain, so it works the same way. So go ahead. It's a cool thing. I still would wish to have this as a iPad app. Just load the app, connect to this, and then run with it. So it makes it a very uh, dedicated screen. I have a lot of old iPads and iPhone lay laying around the house, uh, so I could easily take an old one and just connect it to this and become the editor for it, dedicated ed editor. So I don't have to use my computer screen. And I can run something else on it. So my only request for now. <laughs> That's cool. I like I like the the I like the interface. I like it, how, how efficient it is and simple it is. Everything is there. Everything is there. And sometimes stuff that you find in the hidden menus, it's right here. You've got the pre, you've got the, the retrig, you've got the loop. Uh, the retrig also for the envelopes, you've got exponential, linear, logarithmics. I mean, everything is, is and same thing with the voice, uh, the glide, the legato, the paraphonic feature. That's it. Stay safe, make more music. See you soon. Cheers.